Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org with a video tutorial for the new Boston. Now, in this example application, we're going to take a look at creating a simple drag and drop list. And by this, we're going to be dragging uh, particular elements. In this case, we're going to be dragging uh, li elements from an unordered list into a div and then appending the text associated with them. So essentially what it's going to look like is this. And what's going to happen is we're going to be able to drag elements into this div and they actually append on here. Uh, and then we can drag more than one element in if we like. Now this isn't a foolproof uh, shopping list, I guess. This uh, The names here give away that it's sort of uh, food items. Uh, but it does give you a good idea of how we are um, appending um, the text inside of here. Uh, depending on what we drag in. So it's a really good way to practice the draggable and droppable elements um, using jQuery UI. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at the code. Uh, this is the index page. We've obviously included jQuery, the jQuery UI, and UI.js, which we're going to be writing our code in. Now we've also got style.css, which is extremely important because we're going to need to style up uh, a lot of our page, uh, as well as the borders associated with the list, uh, and obviously the list itself. So the first thing we're going to do is create an unordered list. And inside here we have each li element. And I'm going to have three of these for three different items. Uh, this works with um, an unlimited amount of uh, items within li tags. So you can add as many items as you want. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, create a few uh, items here. And now that I've done this, let's go over to our page and you can see that we have something looking like this. Now I want to style this up to remove some of these uh, uh, bullet points as well as the padding as well on this. Let's go to style.css which I've included in my document as well. And let's go ahead and style the unordered list. So we're going to have a width of 100 pixels because by default this reaches out uh, across the document and will have problems dragging. Uh, I then want to set the padding to zero pixels and what this is going to do is just pull that in a little bit and uh, we want the uh, list style uh, to be none so we don't have any of the um, bullet points. Okay so now that we've done this let's done this gets let's go ahead and create our div which will be our list area. Um, I'm going to give an, this an ID of list now at the moment obviously we don't see anything we need to go ahead and give it some style. So inside here we want to uh, style uh, our list um, element, our list div on our page. And the width of this is going to be 120 pixels. And the height I'm going to set to 180 pixels. Uh, I'm then going to give it a background color just so we can see where it is. And that's going to be F0, F0, F0. And the border by default is going to be set to one pixel, solid and black. So now we have something that looks like this. So we're going to eventually be able to drag these inside here. Now when uh, we drag elements over, we want this border to increase to two pixels. So I'm going to go ahead and create um, a um, class of our list div, and that's going to be called border. And uh, inside here, I'm just going to specify the, um, the border width, and that's going to be two pixels. Okay, so uh, now that we've done this, we need to go ahead and uh, actually start to create our UI.js, which like I mentioned earlier, we have included in the page. And this is gonna make these li elements draggable. So um, let's create a document ready point here. And inside here we have a function. Um, okay, so once this is done, once the page has been loaded, we want to make these elements here draggable so we can drag them around the page. So the first thing we do is we go ahead and uh, use a selector. This time what we're doing is we're selecting uh, li on its own. So all li elements on the page we want to make draggable. Now there's a few things we need to specify in here being the options uh, in for the draggable uh, element or draggable function I guess if you want to call it. And this the first one is hover class. And this is gonna be the class that we um, put into this, so the class that we apply to this div uh, when an element has hovered over. Uh, before we do that, let's just go ahead and look at uh, the draggable elements. You can see that we can now drag them across the page. 
um, obviously we can drag them up here which we don't want we'll fix that a bit later so the uh, hover class is going to be border so now when we hover o uh, when we drag over oh, that hasn't worked let's check why that might be uh, let's just go back into here list border Uh, we might want to go and say border 2px solid black. Oh, sorry, my apologies. Um, I uh, have absolutely no idea uh, what I'm doing. Uh, the draggable doesn't take a hover class uh, because this is the draggable element. Okay, so that probably threw you off a bit, but the um, draggable element doesn't take the hover class. I'm thinking of the div itself. So let's go ahead and actually get uh, set the correct properties to draggable. So the containment of this we need to set to our document. Uh, and what this does is it stops our elements going off of the page. You can see that now they've stopped once my cursor leaves the, uh, the uh, document itself. Uh, the next thing we want to do um, is set revert to true. And what this will do is it will revert the uh, element back to its original location once it has left. Here, so it won't stay in a particular place forever. That's extremely important because we want to drag, append, and that return to its original place. Okay, so now on with the actual um, list itself. We're going to go and make the list. So we uh, reference this as hash list. So we're using a uh, ID selector, and we want to make this droppable. So now that we've made it droppable, nothing has actually changed because we haven't applied any events or any properties to it. Now we can want to test that it actually works. So what we're going to do is inside curly brackets, uh, we want to say drop function. And then inside this function, we're just going to go ahead and say alert. Let's just pull that over a bit. We want to say alert um, dropped. And this will check if uh, it's working. So yeah, it is working. As I drop this element over, we have this dialog saying dropped, and then that reverts back to its original position.